So there's a spot where she hit. And right there. I don't got any damage to my vehicle. Morning, guys. Why is it this cold in Georgia? I have to put my coat on. What? All right, I just checked in. Um, I wasn't supposed to get loaded until one o'clock, but it's ready, so they're gonna they're gonna come load me. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. My tarp is covered in ice. Put my coat on. Go on tarp the front, that other piece, because I got to tarp this one too. So might as well get it ready. Well, he said it should be about five minutes, so I'll do that, and then we will. Um, then I'll read my Bible and then pray and all that good stuff, and then we'll get on the road. Okay, before I get too carried away here, I told you guys I'd be a little bit better at this. I'm gonna tell you what uh, I'm getting for them money-wise and where they're going, how far the trip is. So the one in Montana, two pieces. Um, it's going from it's going from Mako, Georgia, which was about 100 miles ago to Billings, Montana, and I'm getting 1600 for that. Um, and then that piece, that piece obviously here in Buford or outside of Atlanta, which was along uh, was my, my direction, so I'm not really considering deadhead for that, um, maybe 20 miles. I'm getting $1,100 $1, for that, and it's going a, a 1100 miles but all together for the two pieces I'm going 1900 miles so 1116 so that's $2700 and 1900 miles so you do the math there I don't know what that is what a dollar dollar 40 maybe maybe I don't know that's just off the top of my head I think so yeah that's what I'm making on this trip I'll drop that off tomorrow it's supposed to be dropped off Monday but I'll drop it off tomorrow I'm gonna try to find some more freight. I'm only sitting at, um, what am I? 30, maybe 3,500 pounds for this bad boy, and 1,000 pounds for that, so 4,500 pounds, so I can find some more freight. Um, I got a little bit more space up front, got some more space in the back. Um, if not, I'll just drop that off tomorrow, and find something to replace that section, and hopefully make some more money starting out for this next week because this is all going to be for starting out next week so if I can find some more it'd be great
but yeah, let's uh, let's get her tarped. I got her striped down, so let's get all this tarped and hit the road. Alrighty guys, I read Proverbs 18 and it has a lot of good verses in there I could pick, but I'm just going to pick the last one. So Proverbs 18 verse 24, a man that hath, a man that hath friends must show himself friendly and there's a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. It's so true. So true. Okay, I'm going to pray and we'll get on the road. Don't mind the hair. I'm sweating. It was cold. But tarping makes you sweat. Hey, Father, Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for another beautiful morning to wake up to. Lord, about last night, first I just want to apologize for my attitude about it. Um, I always say we need to give thanks for the good and the bad things. And last night wasn't a, definitely not a good thing. And just 
it is what it is. At least there's no damage to my trailer. There's no one got hurt, Lord. Um, I just pray that maybe this can get dropped because of the weird situation. But Lord, I just pray that whatever happens, I just be content about it and just accept it and have a good attitude about it. Lord, forgive me for any sins I've committed to the Lord, for anything I thought, said, did. Lord, for my struggles with alcohol, Lord, just help me with that. Lord, I, I, I give it to you. It's all I can do. I, I, there's nothing I can do to fix it. It's, I just got to give it to you. Lord, um, keep me safe out here with this storm. It's going to be hitting again. Lord, just keep us all safe out here on the roads. Let us all get home to our families. Help me get to the deliveries on time. And be with my family, Lord. Keep them all safe. The sickness that's going around, Lord, just keep keep them uh, healthy, Lord. If they're sick, um, let them get better. Um, and Lord, everything I just do, help me to give you the honor and glory. And I pray these things in your name, Jesus, amen. Okay. Yeah, my hat is covered in sweat. Gross. <laughs> We're gonna switch that out. It's a little better, but my hair's still nasty. All right, let's go. trying to figure out how this guy got a fresh clock before me because I shut down before him and as you can see if it zoom in or clear up I've only been off 9 hours and 45 minutes so how in the world have you been off for 10 hours when you parked way after I did either you're running illegal or you, I don't know. Cause look, even my split clock. Even if you click on my split clock, it's still it, it ain't that. Come on, man. It's just it's just not adding up. Somebody cleared it up for me. Like, why am I missing? Like, I understand none of our split clocks are all like you know the same. Like, he might be running completely different hours and stuff, but still, how? Or why would you run right now if you're running your split clock when you could have been off for another hour and had 11 hours to run? You know what I'm saying? Because that dude parked about 45 minutes after I did. Maybe half an hour. I'll give him half an hour. So he was prior almost a little after nine hours off. Why wouldn't you wait 45 more minutes to an hour and have a full clock if you're running your split? I just, somebody tell me what I'm missing. Because I, it, also look at this. How am I have all this snow? on the hood of my truck <laughs> when that's all it snowed last night like what 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 is this what is this madness Today, like 
straight ice. So many people in the ditches. Uh, in the past couple miles, I've passed four. I'm doing 45 right now. It don't look like it, but they're, it's straight ice. It's three degrees out. The wind's about 20 miles an hour, so it's making it like a negative 15. bad I broke traction twice just going this fast hopefully the roads get better the further I go but I really doubt it well I'm already missing Florida <laughs> Offloaded and trying to find a place to go get fuel. Nose is running seven degrees out. Nose is running. Took about a what is that? Probably about a half hour to get 
untarped, unloaded. Um, what else? Oh, tarp back up with the other freight. Uh, bill of lading sent into the dis the the broker. It has been 17 days on the road. 